Hello everyone and welcome back to the Honey Soul Child Bottega channel. I am your chakra priestess here and I'm doing a reading on a chakra analysis reading on um, Romeo and his father, Master P, Percy Miller. Okay, so before I get into it, I want to dis, uh, state my disclaimer. All readings on my channel are for entertainment purposes only. Due to everything is not set in stone because of free will. And now that I said that, let's go ahead and get into it. So, um, in the root chakra region, um, I asked the question on what is the root of the issue. And I got, they have more money than you do. So, as far as communication wise, because this is a third eye chakra card, communication wise... Um, they have vocally expressed in the root of the issue that they have more money than you do. So let's go ahead and clarify that. <clears throat> they spoke about they having more money than you. So let's clarify that as the root cause or the root of the issue. Clarifying. Okay, thank you. Because I'm like, dang, anybody? Okay, we have rest and rejuvenate in the reverse. So we have the four of swords um, in the reverse. What that could mean. Um, excuse me, I'm trying to rest some restlessness, some burnout, uh, lack of progress. Following through, we have the self-sabotage energy. You will learn to get out of your own way. Um, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. Is that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. And at the bottom of the deck, we have emotional loss with the five of cups energy. Okay. So they have endured some emotional loss uh, within the root cause uh, in regards to possibly some monetary um benefits to where it left some burnout a lack of progress um that lead led to some self-sabotage energy and some form of emotional loss um okay all right following through with the sacral chakra we have friends with benefits i asked the question how do they feel about each other and we, I got friends with benefits, and that is a um, third eye chakra card. So, intuitively, uh, they feel about how they, what they feel about themselves is friends with benefits. Um, let's see, as a father son relationship. So, let's go ahead and clarify that. Okay, we got new beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that new beginning is on the horizon. Have the courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. So, um, okay, following through with that, we have study. Spirit has his own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again from time to time. It's important to go back and learn whether that's learning old things in a new way um, or le learning something totally new. It's an, uh, this is an opportunity to expand your mind. So there is some transformation that is going to come about, uh, some form of change that's going to come about that can bring some new beginnings. Okay, and 
new beginnings at the bottom of the deck so there we go there we have it that's the full card in regular tarot all right following through with the solar plexus at um region it is considered um, it is considered balance because we have kiss me softly on me asking the question how can they resolve the issue and um, ironically kiss me softly um, came out for that region there um, I'm trying to figure out do I want to actually clear do I actually want to clarify it let's use the um, <laughs> let's use the personal growth my diy personal growth um deck for that because usually i do not clarify um the regions that are basically in balance so clarify the kiss me softly card clarify the kiss me softly we have four cups Four of Cups is basically a gentle confrontation over outdated mindsets and aspects. So it's basically tell, um, saying how can they resolve the issue. It's basically um, <clears throat> it's time to be open to new things. Hence that refers back to the previous card. Especially with this study card. That is basically what it's um, talking about is... Um, time to open up to new things new ideas um reevaluating um coming reevaluating how you would normally address the issue and figure out a better way and another perspective to um resolve and address the issue we have page of cups at the top of the deck okay and anything dealing with the page energy is childlike energy and it's basically saying get in touch with your inner child by finding playful ways to express yourself so that is so okay that makes perfect sense kiss me softly so it's possible that some inner child healing is needed um to reassure bring some reassurance that everything is going to be okay everything is fine and you no longer have to suffer in silence and then following through at the bottom we have self-sabotage this is the devil card and regular tarot um to break it on down this is the lover's card um uh well it's the lover's energy with the five plus um, one or one plus five equals six and then it is also capricorn energy so it could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody is a Capricorn that is ambitious, ambitious but and responsible, but sometimes can be pessimistic. Um, but it's a need to re-examine or examine those toxic patterns, those thought patterns, and um, unhealthy coping me mechanisms, and also that it. Um, let's see have a negative and uh whether if it does have a negative after um a after effect like a negative side effect um as you are examining those toxic patterns okay <clears throat> um moving through with the um heart chakra card we have skeletons in the closet in reverse okay so yeah skeletons card in reverse okay so <clears throat> i don't know if i should have done it this way but anyway it's in reverse the way i'm <laughs> the direction where i'm at is in the reverse okay to say the least excuse me okay so to clear uh let's see in the heart region this is basically where is, I asked the question, where is the heart at? And this is a root chakra card with the skeletons in the closet. Um, <clears throat> so, that is interesting to say the least. Uh, let's go ahead and clarify that though. Let's clarify that. Um, we have receive, you are kind. 
and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the Eve and Flo the Eve and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is natural law in order for the universe. So there is a need for um, tapping to the healthy version of giving and receiving. Um, there is a tendency amongst, um, I'm just going to go ahead and say it because I see it time to time on in my family um, unit, whether it's, um, whether it's, extended or within the nuclear family unit unit i see it time and time again how um there is an overextending energy towards the um the kids that are adoptive or um or they are within the family union but they are being taken care of by other family family members due to some unforeseen circumstances and there is a tendency to where parental figures can um, be more present or more attentive to the um, the honorary kids. I'm going to say the honorary kids uh, than the biological kids. And you have to be careful with that because I know you naturally want to make the honorary kids feel like they are your own kids that you um, basically came out of, that you born, born and bred in the process of them coming to the physical realm. But you also have to be careful with the biological kids gaining some sort of resentment because of the fact of the matter that you put your attention towards other people more than you do with your biological one that's i'm just gonna go ahead and say it and put it out there fight me if you want to in the comment section but i do see a tendency a pattern that happens with families that have honorary children in their family and how they would be more attentive and um will overextend themselves to where it leads to some entitlement tendencies and and spoiled um spoiled brat tendencies because you uh you as a parental figure would would um act out of guilt because you know even though they're not your own child biologically you're doing whatever is necessary for them to feel like they are your biological child, okay? I'm just putting it out there. Like I said, fight me in the comment section if you want to. I, I just see that tendency, and I just feel like it needs to be said. It needs to be said. Hey, anyways, <clears throat> we have the seven of pentacles with patience and planning at the, uh, at the top of the deck, following through with um the throat chakra okay vocally expressing that uh, there needs to be a right way in regards to um the giving and receiving nature all right moving forward with the throat chakra region we had two cards came out i just basically asked um um as to provide me a, a card for the throat chakra region and two cards came out and the throat chakra does deal with self-expression and communication in all shapes and form and we had um basically substance substance here y'all see it and uh stop being paranoid and projecting your insecurities so this is the solar plexus card and this is a heart chakra card and the throat chakra realm so <clears throat> let's go ahead and clarify that so there's been some vocalization of possibly some um substance abuse or someone is uh projecting their insecurities on one another as well as and or being paranoid so let's go ahead and figure out what's going on in, with that let's clarify that we have dream talk 
Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. And it's just one of those many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, and messages and more. So there is possible that someone's been having dreams and uh, to where they are getting messages from in the spiritual realm. Uh, where they they probably possibly been trying to get some answers and the best way to communicate with them is through the dream so keep a dream journal on the side uh, following through we have prosperity begins with the ace of pentacles and at the bottom of the deck we have be proud it's time to celebrate all that you achieve all that you are and that you will become every once in a while it's important to stop and acknowledge that you achieve and to be proud and this is green highlighted in this card which is a heart chakra card for me okay when it comes to this okay so yeah that's what's going on in that region. And you see both of these cards are the shade of green. So um, it's a time to be proud. Vocalize, express your achievements instead of projecting your insecurities or being paranoid. Um, because you have prosperity coming to you. And, um, and the answers that you're trying to seek, that you're uh, some sort of communication is coming through in your dream so keep a journal close by and just write down um whatever signs or signal signals that you're getting from the dreams okay moving forward with the third eye chakra we have leave me alone in reverse so they are not leaving each other alone intuitively intuitively they are not leaving each other alone. And this is the heart chakra card. And <clears throat> I mean, rightfully so, because they are father and son. But, you know, it sounds like there needs to be some healthy boundaries at least established in that realm. So let's clarify that. Clarify the leave me alone card in reverse in the third eye chakra re region. I need to write the question down. How can they get clarity? And <clears throat> the answer would be to <laughs> leave each other alone, possibly. But anyway, clarify the leave me alone. Thank you. Ancestral wisdom. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We asked you at this potent time uh, to learn and grow from our past experience. You um. You are our legacy, and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve in the spiritual world. So, um, the ancestors are possibly trying to reach out to either one of them or both. Hence, we had the Dream Talk card that came out previously in the um, Throat Chakra region. And Throat Chakra is dealing with communication. Shadow. This is the moon card, so addressing the shadow is needed. Facing your fears. And we have suffering silence, the nine of swords energy. Um, getting out of your head or having the strength and courage as well as the wisdom to no longer surf, suffer in silence um, as the cycles begin to complete and as you begin to face those fears right because the ancestors there's are they already saying that they'll help you every step of the way and to learn from their mistakes and in order to do that you got to stop suffering in silence and be able to address your shadow self embrace it in any way shape or form in a healthy way but continue to face your fears and move through the light, move through those tough times 
in a healthy manner, okay? Unlearn those toxic boundaries, okay? Unlearn those toxic traits, those toxic patterns that has been passed down for generations to generation, okay? Now, following through with the crown chakra on what do they need to know is um, two cards that came out. And one of them is childhood trauma. And this is a solar plexus card. Both of them are solar plexus card, which again, if a chakra is in balance and I look at, I take a look at the card, the color of the card, I just correlated right back to again this solar plexus region that is considered balance and that is what they need to know is that they need to do some uh, one of them or both of them need to go within and um, heal some childhood trauma so they can break away from the chains as well as letting them know kiss them softly that everything is going to be all right and um i was blind i'm sorry okay let's go ahead and clarify that i feel like that doesn't need clarifying because i basically said it but anyways i'm gonna clarify it anyways <laughs> <clears throat> yeah provide me some clarifying cards please thank you we have take a moment stop now is not the time to rush into decision making you're about to make before this important decision it is made take a moment to pause and quiet your mind that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act and move forward following through with the passion ignited um, it'll bring some newfound passion with the ace of wands uh, some new ideas some new inspiration and the disruption card, which is the tower card, I believe. Let me make sure. Um, yeah, this is the tower card. Oh gosh, my eye is itching, y'all. It is the tower card. <clears throat> let me make sure, y'all. Let me make sure. Because I could be all the heck wrong. Yeah, it's the tower card. <laughs> It's the tower card and regular tarot, uh, which basically meaning some changes, some um, some upheaval, some sudden changes, and also revelations. It can bring some new revelations, and um, and some passionate endeavors, some passionate ideas, igniting, and just take a moment and not rush into the decision. Okay, now, and then at the bottom of the deck, y'all, we got Crown Chakra. Even though this disruption card came out at the bottom, it followed through with the Crown Chakra. You see how the the correlation between there? All right, so let me go ahead and do this here. And I'm going to get a card for both uh, Romeo and his father on the lessons what lesson can they learn or will be learning or could be learning okay what lesson is romeo learning courage i find the inner courage to face fear with confidence and then we have blackmail or leverage to keep quiet at the bottom of the deck y'all which is a root uh, chakra card how interesting in that is that at the bottom we have abundance I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality okay what will be the lesson that um, his father is learning what lesson is master P learning what lesson is master P learning Oh, dang. Okay. We have the death card came out. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. And empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. 
humor is at the bottom. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. That could be both of them. Um, <clears throat> and then, let's see what else. Um, let's see what this blackmail or leveraging to keep quiet card is about. Clarify the blackmail or leverage to keep quiet card. What is that about? Dang, y'all got distractions in reverse as well. Let's see what other card come out. Coins, good luck. Destiny is at the bottom. Disruption. Okay, let's see what that is about. The clouds, y'all got clouds as well. Distractions. So the blackmail or leveraging to keep quiet could be um, overthinking the situation, escapism, and inability to focus, avoidance or improved time management, and then with the disruption card with the lightning card it is basically saying that um, a shocking change an act of god enlightenment or unpredictability okay and this disruption card is saying uh, like a flash of lightning that illuminates the night sky without warn warning this card wants you to not just Expect the unexpected, but embrace it. The unknown and anticipated may cause many people to fear the worst, but it's not always the case. This is a card of events suddenly out of the blue. Um, a single sentence can reveal information that changes everything, or you could turn around and have the life-altering experience right on the sidewalk or in your kitchen. These move moments are a shock into the system, whether positive or negative. Since you can't plan for surprises by definition, this card is a lesson in the unpredictable nature of life. Interesting. Okay, let me hurry the heck up because my battery's about to go off on this GoPro here. Okay. So, I'm going to ask the question with these cards, how can they improve their, how can they improve their relationship? How can they improve their father and son relationship, even though that has been addressed within the spread? Uh, I probably should have asked um, an an I should have pulled an ancestor card because let's see time out time out and teaching and learning at the bottom so this time out card is basically saying <coughs> um, a need to take time out from your busy schedule and hustle and bustle of life perhaps you've been working too hard or have a lot going on Maybe you've been tired, irritable, and anxious, or just generally feeling unwell. If you've been under stress of any kind or have been spending time in negative or toxic environment, you must remove yourself from the situation and heal and recharge. It's a perfect time to take a vacation. Even a day or two will revitalize and recharge your soul. You don't necessarily need to leave your home. You could laze around the house and unplug your computer and phone, having an energy um healing massage or facial soaking in a hot tub taking a walk in nature watching a movie and reading a book are good perfect ways to unwind center yourself and feel a sense of renewal in order to improve your current situation you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm of cycles in your life cycles that are encouraging you to take time out for you if you're feeling overwhelmed uncertain or confused the questions or the answers will present themselves during your quiet time clarity comes from silence and order follows peace so step away from the stress and find your inner sanctuary and that's on period on that one so that concludes the message for um romeo and master p i'm sending nothing but loving and healing energy to them and always remember 
to um, leave a leave a comment down below on what you think about this message. If you would like me to do other celebrities and their analysis, feel free to comment down below or email me at hscbottega at gmail.com. As well as always remember to love thyself, know thyself, suit thyself so you can heal thyself. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.